All right, class. How's everybody doing today? No, don't be so. Uh, be so. April Fool's Day. It's April Fool's Day. So today, um, normally I have math class. But uh, today is uh, Think to the Future Day. Um, and so we've been asked to uh, teach a lesson on um, things that will help you guys in the future. Um, and so I think we're in seventh grade. Either seventh or eighth, one of those two. Um, so we're going to talk about some things today that will be helpful to you guys in the future. Um, we're going to start off by watching a video. I do it to stay sharp. I take care of my body, but it's harder. So you've heard many of life's curiosities, but did you know that cashews grow on apples? In this case, the apple is simply an accessory fruit with the cashew growing on top. Or how about the fact that mushrooms are more closely related to animals than plants? The most common ancestor between humans and mushrooms is more recent than that of mushrooms and plants. Trees, they actually grow out of the air, not the ground. Though they receive some minerals from the soil, the carbon dioxide from air goes into the tree and with the help of the sun removes the oxygen. This carbon is left with water to create the substance of the tree. And did you know that there's enough water in Lake Superior to cover all of North and South America with one foot of water? Or that there are more stars in the visible universe than all the grains of sand on all the beaches of Earth? And yet the number of synapses in your brain's cerebral cortex alone, about 125 trillion, is the amount of stars that would fill 1500 Milky Way galaxies. But an atom is around 99.99% empty space, making everything in the universe mostly nothing. Including your body, which, by the way, is constantly replacing itself. So much so that every 10 years, your entire body has replaced itself. Every atom in your body is different now, meaning you have no more in common with your previous self than any other human being that's lived or will ever live. All the while, there are more bacterial cells in your body than actual somatic body cells. And if you've made it to age 18, you have, on average, 3,200 to 3,500 weekends left in your lifetime. More importantly, you only have about 57 summers left. And did you know that while dragonflies have legs, they can't walk, only land? Or that in a population of clamfish, if the female dinosaur is removed, the most dominant male will become a female? The Tyrannosaurus, in terms of time, is closer to today than to when the Stegosaurus roamed the Earth. To the same token, Cleopatra lived closer to the first moon landing than to the construction of the pyramids. And just for fun, when I say it, you are now breathing manually. Got a burning question you want to answer? Ask it in the comments or on Facebook and Twitter. And subscribe for more weekly science videos. You guys want to watch more? <laughs> I'm sure you do. So, so today we're going to take a look at some tools, technological tools that will benefit you. Um, for years and even decades to come, and it will make learning more fun as well. Um, so, I don't know if you guys knew this, but um, when I grew up, and this is actually applicable to, to the study group as well, but when I grew up, um, we didn't have any other than technology that we do nowadays. Um, we had some things, we had computers, but we used floppy disks. We played games like Oregon Trail. Um, and so uh, there are some amazing things uh, that we have available to us now. And today I want to share with you some of those things and hopefully um, it will get you excited about them and help you um, at least get started on learning how to use them so you can um, use them in the future um, in your classes and, and throughout high school and college as well. Um, so the first one we're going to talk about, who's seen this before? You guys are aware of what Microsoft Word is? Okay, we're just going to briefly go over some of these things, um, and I'm going to give you some examples of how you can use them. Um, raise your hand if you know what Microsoft Word is. Yeah, all of you. Okay, this is something that you've all probably seen. Okay, um, everybody knows that we can open up and we can just start typing things. Um, Microsoft Word is used for um, all kinds of different things. Um, we can see right here that it's used for reports. Uh, it's used for business letters. Um, you 
guys will learn more about that in the future. Um, I actually, as a teacher, I use uh, Microsoft Word to create a lesson plan. So when I come to class to teach you guys, um, I've created in Microsoft Word uh, what we're going to do for the day. I've mapped everything out. Um, so it's a very useful tool. Um, a lot of high school students and college students, and you guys will probably start real soon, using it for writing research papers. Um, so you'll look up information and you'll, you'll record it in Microsoft Word. Um, you can use them for agendas. You can put calendars in them. Um, you can write a resume. Who knows what a resume is? Somebody tell me what a resume is. I think it's very good to talk to them like your career. Okay. So it's, it's used for uh, job experience and it helps you get, get jobs later in life. Um, so we're going to take a look at Microsoft, uh, an example of something we can do with Microsoft Word real quick. And it just so happens that I have this example uh, that uh, we can take a look at. <laughs> and so, um, so this is a, a lesson plan that I made a long time ago when I was still learning how to be a teacher. Cool. And um, this is a pretty complicated thing. It's a little bit more fancy than just a paper, but you can see that you can create boxes and you can um, make lists. Um, and this is just a, a long time ago I prepared a lesson um, to teach. And um, we can scroll down and we can look at some of the things that I did. You can put links in here that will um, link you to, to videos, um, to websites and stuff like that. Um, so this is just um, kind of a brief look at what you can do with Microsoft Word. And you can see up here some of the tools um, and the things that you can do. Um, so that's just an example. We'll close that and we'll go back. Um, so Microsoft Word, um, again, just to review, is something that you can use to, to create reports, the letters, um, my lesson plan, um, research papers, and agendas, and resume, again, is something that will become very important for you guys later on. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at is Microsoft Excel. Um, so Excel is, you guys have probably heard of um, this one as well. Um, and when you open Excel, if you've ever done it on the computer, because I know you guys are really computer savvy, as all kids are nowadays. Um, when you open Excel, it has a bunch of boxes. Instead of just being a bank, blank slate, it has a bunch of boxes, right? So what Excel, uh, Excel is used for, um, they're called worksheets. Um, you could call them something else, um, but the big thing that we use Microsoft Excel for is um, to look at um, information or data. Um, don't confuse it, there's another one that keeps track of like a database, that's a little bit different. This is just looking at data. So say you're doing a report and um, over a certain amount of time you're looking at some kind of data, like how many um, people come to the cafeteria to eat lunch or something. And in Microsoft Excel, it's really nice is you can track that data um, and put it into here. And you can do all kinds of things with it. Um, you can make graphs, you can make charts, you can show what that data looks like. You can compare it to different data. Um, say you want to know how many people wear shorts compared to how many people wear pants when you come to school. Okay? You can track that data and then you can make lines and it will show um, different things that you can or it will show like uh, the comparison between those two things. Um, charts, information. One of the big things that uh, you can do with Microsoft Excel is who likes money? Okay, raise your hand if you like money. Everybody raise their hand. Okay, money is important, but it's also important to keep track of. Okay, um, one of the things that I do with Microsoft Excel um, is I use it to make a budget. So this right here. Um, this is a budget for myself and my wife and my five kids that I have. Um, but the boxes are still here. Um, I just got rid of the outlines. But you can see that we've put over here um, food and living expenses. Um, you know, the things that we spend money on and the things that uh, where we get money. So um, this is just an example of how you can use Excel. Um, 
to um, keep track of money. Um, but any kind of data, really, you can keep track of with Excel. You can make some really cool charts um, to, to show that. So the next thing we're going to look at is Microsoft PowerPoint. And believe it or not, what I'm using right now is actually Microsoft PowerPoint. Um, so what am I doing right now? Presentation. Okay, I'm giving you information. Okay, and I use Microsoft PowerPoint as a tool. It sits up here. You guys can look at it. You can see what I'm talking about right now, or hopefully what I'm talking about right now. Okay, Microsoft PowerPoint is very professional. Um, it's used everywhere. It's used a lot in schools. Um, it's used a lot in, in businesses. You can integrate all kinds of things with Microsoft PowerPoint. Um, PowerPoint is um, something that you can put charts in, um, you can put graphs in just like you can with Excel. It's not so much for keeping track of that data, but you can certainly insert those charts into here just to show um, a picture of something that you might be looking at. Um, so this is used a lot, and if you get into a business kind of setting, um, if you want to go into business um, as a career, then you'll use this Microsoft PowerPoint a lot. Um, I have another example for you. And this is just something, again, let's do this. Um, I actually took a, a class to learn how to, um, to learn how to use, or just to give me some basics on PowerPoint. And this is something that I created, and it's really a whole not, not a whole lot to it, but uh, which one would you like me to click on? Best. Best. So I actually am able to make this thing a button, so you can make it very interactive. Click on best, it makes a sound, and there's a sun that goes over. Okay? So that's all it is. There's not anything cool or, or you can go back. You can click on better, different sound. Um, you can do sound effects, you can do buttons, that was a click. Okay? Um, you can make these pictures really cool, you can put the shadow down. So there's a lot of cool things that you could do with Microsoft PowerPoint. Okay? It's very neat. Um, it's very professional. Um, and it's something that um, you'll, 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 you'll use a lot. Um, from here on out, you'll be asked to make presentations by yourself or in groups, especially when you get into high school. And you'll want to know how to learn. Uh, you want to know how to use uh, Microsoft. Okay, so there's one more I want to talk about um, real quick. And this one's called Prezi. Um, this is one maybe you haven't heard of. Who's heard of Prezi? All of you? No? Kristen, no? Okay, Prezi is kind of similar to Microsoft PowerPoint, okay? You use it to give presentations. But the neat thing about Prezi is it's kind of fancy. Um, it's very... Um, visually oriented. You can do a lot of cool special effects. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can move all over the place. It's not just different slides and pictures. Um, so it's very interesting graphically, which is what I was just saying. Um, it's uh, fancy, it has lots of templates, so you can pick, um, you can pick lots of different themes and use them for your presentation. Um, it's not quite as professional as PowerPoint. You probably wouldn't use Prezi in a, like a big business kind of uh, presentation. Uh, but it's a lot of fun to work with. And actually, back when I was in school, um, I created a Prezi just to learn how to do it. And this is a very, very simple uh, Prezi presentation. But it'll kind of show you what you can do with it, um, the different things that you can um, do, and how it works. Um, so as soon as it loads, we'll and so this is just about my hometown, okay? I, I'm from Sandy, Oregon. Um, and so there are different slides, so to speak, but it's not just a separate block or picture. It actually just, it's, it's like an action, it moves. So um, the second slide, it actually zooms in on this picture. Um, so the second slide would be, this is Portland, and the, this slide demonstrates that we're close to Portland. 
Um, and then it zooms out um, and it says 45 minutes from Mount Hood, which is a major mountain that's really famous for skiing, especially during the summer. It's one of the few mountains, I, I believe, in the nation that um, has snow on it during the summer. Um, and then we zoom in there again. And you can kind of see, we started with this tiny little dot right here and it's gotten bigger. Um, we just got a brand new high school in Sandy. I'm just going to click through this real quick. Again, we zoomed out again. So you can see I started with this tiny little dot right here as my first slide. So you can move all over the place. You can go and zoom into different graphics. It's just a really neat presentation tool. Um, and then um, it goes to that, which is all four of the things I just talked about. So that's my Prezi. Um, you can get so much neater than that. And I didn't use a template, which means I did all this from, from scratch. You can use really cool templates. They have like trees, they have like a city landscape. You can zoom in on buildings and windows and put stuff in there. So it's really, really, really neat. Um, okay. So as you guys have, have as I've shared with you um, about these four programs, what we've talked about, um, I want you to think about what are some of uh, the ideas that have come to mind. Um, have you had ideas? Have you have you had these thoughts that oh man, I can use that for this, or I can do this with that? Um, does anyone want to share? Yeah. Krista. There's a social studies project coming up, and and the teacher wants us to use PowerPoint, so maybe use the button thing. The button thing. Okay. Yeah, that's just something that neat that, that you can do. Um, some things to think about, um, um, how you use them, um, these, these are very, very extremely useful tools. And there's ways to do all of this stuff. You can do it on a piece of paper, or you can write it down in a book or something. But using the technology they have makes it so much easier, um, so much more fun, I think. I love doing this kind of stuff. It makes it interesting to me. Um, what kind of things would you create with these programs? Um, um, and lastly, um, I want to watch a video, and I understand that this video is just a tiny bit off topic, um, but what it does do is it explains the importance of technology and what we can do when we take advantage of it. This is a video, we can't watch the whole thing because it's about 20 minutes long, I think, or 11 minutes long, I don't remember. Um, but this is a video about a young man. I don't know how old he is now, but he's still pretty young, you can tell. Um, and he has done everything that he does in this video using technology. He's never taken a lesson, a private lesson, ever. Um, he's used the computer and used the resources that he's found on the computer, the technology that we have, um, to learn how to do things. And you'll find that he's an extremely, extremely talented, Musician. And how you study away is an yeah. amazing opportunity to. And we're just gonna watch. This is something that he taught himself. He taught himself how to do all of these things. Um, he used YouTube, which is what we're actually watching right now. Um, and while that's not Word or any of the things that we talked about today, this is just an example of what you can do when you take advantage of the technology that we have. Say that.
again, I know that didn't have a whole lot to do with um, the things, but, but and that was just an example to show what you can do with technology. Um, that was all him teaching himself how to do those kind of things and learn how to do those things. Um, and your homework, and I have a handout for you right here that has these links on them. Um, these are short one to two minute videos on how to do basic things on each of the things that we've, um, that we've talked about today. So your homework is to watch these videos and be prepared to work through these kind of tasks. Um, we're going to go to the computer lab next class tomorrow. That's it.